Russia's southern military district artillerymen are preparing to fire a TA-36 Jacinth B howitzer. A 152mm OF-29 high-explosive round is already loaded. They will now load a brass-cased VOF-39 propellant charge into the semi-automatic breech of a 2A-36 Jacinth B howitzer. Once the breech block is closed, the eight-man crew will fire the round 19 miles. The crew can initially maintain a maximum firing rate of up to six rounds per minute before easing back to a steady rate of fire of one to two rounds per minute to protect the 25 foot long gun barrel from overheating. It's the 2nd of January 2023. The artillery men are supporting an offensive operation by the Russian 58th Combined Arms Army operating in Zaporizhia Oblast. The Russians are making slow progress as they probe and attack a determined Ukrainian force. Russia's army has lost many soldiers and equipment during almost one year of war. Southern military district forces themselves pay testament to that fact by mirroring the high losses. Russian Federation Defence Minister Sergei Shogi said on the 17th of January 2023 he would make major changes to its armed forces, promising to shake up its military structure after months of setbacks on the battlefield in Ukraine. It's now the 2nd of July 2023 and Russia's southern military district artillerymen, as a result of Sergei Shelgi military restructuring of its depleted forces, are now part of your group of forces in an assigned area of responsibility and are preparing to resume the daily firing of 152mm shells from the 2A36 Giant B Howitzer. They are still in Zabrucha, a blast, but this time they are on the defensive, following the beginning of the major Ukrainian counteroffensive on the 8th of June 2023. Ukraine aim to take back all occupied territory. Russian forces, as seen on this map, have previously seized control of around 70% of Zaporizhia Oblast in 2022. But as seen on the yellow demarcation line, the Russians have failed to take the key strategic city of Zaporizhia. Ukrainian forces under constant shelling still control the west bank of the Dnieper River, facing Russian soldiers' defences on the east bank. It's now November 17th, 2023, and Southern Military District artillerymen, part of your group forces, are still conducting artillery operations in the Zaporizhia Oblast. The Ukrainian forces have made some small gains retaking territory near Robotin and Verbov. The capture and holding of these villages is seen as key for Ukrainian forces to march and capture Topmak and then Meliotopol in a move to cut off Russian supply routes to Crimea. These Russian southern military district artillerymen are firing towards Robertine and Verbov in action to hold back any further advancement of Ukrainian troops. As of 22nd of November 2023, snow is beginning to fall in the Zaporizhia Blast region, signalling a likely stall to further tactical battle movements by Ukrainian forces until early spring. In the meantime, the southern military district artillerymen will dig in, building fortified trenches. The snow and mud will now make it very difficult to move the 9.7 ton 2A36 howitzers. Thanks for watching.